In League of Legends, 19 items are being changed in the 3.01 patch. On today's episode of Law Math, we'll be taking a look at all the items that have been effective and any new items. Let's take a look at the items now. Seeker's Arm Guard is a new item that costs 1,160 gold and will grant 30 armor, 25 ability power, and 0.5 armor and ability power on a kill, with a maximum of 15. It will become cost effective after the first kill. The Zhonya's Hourglass now costs 310 more gold and grants 20 more ability power. One is now saving 200 gold on ability power and armor by purchasing this item, as opposed to 75 gold previously. Sightstone now costs 250 more gold and grants 80 more health. It will now take 7 wards place for the item to become cost effective as opposed to 6 previously. Ruby Sightstone now costs 250 more gold and grants 60 more health. It will now take 8 wards place for the item to become cost effective as opposed to 7 previously. Giant's Belt will now grant 20 less health. This means it will grant 1 health per 2.63 gold as opposed to 2.5 gold previously. This is only 0.01 less health per gold than the Ruby Crystal grants. The Warmog's Armor now costs 180 more gold. We don't take the health regenerating effect into account. The Warmog's Armor will now grant 1 health per 2.83 gold as opposed to 2.65 5 gold previously. The Sunfire Cape now costs 150 more gold. One is now overspending 562 gold on armor and health by purchasing the item as opposed to 412 gold previously. The Fiendish Codex now costs 180 less gold and no longer grants mana regeneration. One is now saving 154.5 gold on ability power and cooldown reduction by purchasing this item as opposed to 334.5 gold previously. The Nasher's Tooth now costs 230 less gold and no longer grants mana regeneration. One is now saving 1454.42 gold on ability power, cooldown reduction, and attack speed by purchasing this item as opposed to 1,824.42 gold previously. Banner of Command now costs 40 less gold. One is now overspending 568 gold on ability power, cooldown reduction, and armor by purchasing this item as opposed to 608 gold previously. The Deathfire Grasp now costs 300 more gold and will grant 20 more ability power. One is now overspending 207 gold on ability power and cooldown reduction by purchasing this item as opposed to 342 gold previously. Athene's Unholy Grail now costs 200 less gold. One is now saving 888 gold on ability power, cooldown reduction, magic resistance, and mana regeneration by purchasing this item as opposed to 1,088 gold previously. The Bloodthirster now costs 200 more gold. One is now saving 80 gold on attack damage and life seal when the Bloodthirster has no stacks as opposed to saving 280 previously. One is now saving 1,520 gold when the Bloodthirster has full stacks as opposed to saving 1,720 gold previously. Black Cleaver now grants 100 less health, has a maximum of 5 stacks, and will grant 1% less armor penetration per stack. While this means an extra 1% armor penetration will be granted at full stacks, it will take one additional stack to get there. Trinity Force now costs 297 less gold. One is now saving 873.4 gold on the Trinity Force's stats as opposed to saving 576.4 previously, assuming the champion has 325 movement speed. The Spirit Stone now costs 100 less gold. One is now saving 224 gold on health regeneration and man regeneration as opposed to saving 124 previously. The Spirit of the Spectral Wraith now costs 400 less gold. One is now saving 559.5 gold on ability power, man regeneration, cooldown reduction, and spell damp as opposed to saving 159.5 previously. The Frozen Heart now costs 100 less gold. One is now saving 244 gold on armor, mana, and cooldown reduction as opposed to saving 144 four previously. Dorn Shield now grants three more health regeneration. One is now saving 177 gold on health, armor, and health regeneration as opposed to saving 69 previously. Overall, it would seem while some items have had their cost effectiveness made slightly worse, others have become better as well. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous Low Math episode. You can also like Low Math on Facebook at facebook.com slash trampolinetales, and follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash trampolinetales. Thanks for watching this episode of Low Math.